Did you know that NASA's New Horizons spacecraft provided us with the first close-up images of Pluto ever taken? Before that, no one really knew what this planet looked like. These latest images of the planet were both exciting and shocking at the same time. That's because the images showed a landscape that no one had expected to see for the first time. Pluto turned out to be a living and active world, not a dead rock world. This planet shows such clear geological activity that there may even be some form of life. New Horizons provided images of a surprisingly complex and dynamic world and an unexpected variety of landscapes. The best news for all Pluto fans is that after these groundbreaking discoveries, Pluto's return to the ranks of the official planets is almost unstoppable. Pluto turned out to be quite different from what was previously assumed. The recent discoveries have not only surprised the scientific community, but have also raised new questions about Pluto's evolution and its possible internal processes. Particularly impressive was the lack of impact craters across much of the surface, suggesting that Pluto is geologically much more active than ever suspected. In July 2015, after nearly a decade in transit, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft finally reached the edge of the solar system and provided us with the very first close-up images of Pluto. The probe had been launched in 2006 to take the first detailed pictures of the dwarf planet Pluto and its moons. Imagine that before New Horizons arrived, we had no real image of Pluto at all. Not even Hubble, the Old Space Telescope, was able to image Pluto sharply. The planet was too close on the one hand and too small on the other, and it's hidden in such a dark part of the solar system that it was simply impossible for the world's best telescopes, such as ALMA or the European Extremely Large Telescope, to capture Pluto properly. Before the New Horizons mission, Pluto was only visible to scientists as a small, fuzzy dot in the sky. After the mission of the century, our image of Pluto changed dramatically. New Horizons was specially designed to explore Pluto and equipped with the latest technology for the task. The long journey to the trans-Neptunian regions paid off handsomely. Equipped with a high-resolution camera called LORI, as well as spectrometers and particle detectors, the probe was able not only to take unique photos, but also to examine the surface and atmosphere of Pluto in detail. Despite the enormous distance of around 5 billion kilometers from Earth, the LORI camera system was able to provide impressively sharp images. What made this mission so special was not only the long travel time, but also the extremely short time span in which New Horizons passed Pluto. What few people know is that the probe sped past the planet at around 50,000 kilometers per hour and only had a few hours to collect the crucial images and data. After that, the probe moved on to Charon, Pluto's moon, and to some trans-Neptunian objects. A planet full of vivid surprises. While it was always clear that Pluto was a real planet, it remained unclear for a long time what this planet was really made of. Researchers assumed that it was a boring world of rock. What was thought to be a dead dwarf planet turned out to be a dynamic world full of active geological processes. The images that New Horizons sent to Earth revealed a breathtaking variety of structures and surface features that show a world that is anything but static. One of the most striking images shows the icebergs of Pluto. Massive mountains of water ice, up to 35 meters high, rising in the planet's unique atmosphere. A famous image from New Horizons shows one of these massive mountain ranges stretching across the surface like a cold version of the Rocky Mountains. Only here, the mountains are thought to be made of pure water ice and contain no known rock. The lack of craters in these areas is seen by scientists as a strong indication that the mountains have only emerged in relatively recent history. This is another indication of ongoing geological activity. The very idea that Pluto was tectonically active in the recent past turns scientists' previous assumptions about this planet completely on their head. Another famous image shows the huge plain known as Sputnik Planitia. This smooth-seeming, almost crater-free area extends for hundreds of kilometers and consists mainly of frozen nitrogen. The images show the prominent polygonal structures on the surface, which are an indication of convection currents in the ice below. In particular, 
the smooth, constantly renewing surface of Sputnik Planitia further suggests that previously unknown dynamic processes are taking place under the layer of ice in the plane. These processes are very likely driven by internal heat, and that could mean that there is a liquid ocean in the depths of Pluto. Another spectacular image shows us cryovolcanoes on the planet. These icy volcanoes spew out frozen material such as water ice, methane ice, or nitrogen ice, rather than lava. The images show large hills and crests rising above the surface, indicating that some form of volcanism still exists on Pluto, albeit in frozen form. Cryovolcanism was interpreted as another sign that Pluto is warmer at its core than we previously thought, and that volcanism supports the theory of a liquid ocean below the surface after New Horizons' first images arrived. Pluto is the planet with a heart. The heart consists of two distinct parts. The left side is Sputnik Planitia, the huge nitrogen plane that we have already seen, while the right side is a hilly, more cratered and much rougher region. This image, which shows Pluto in a previously unknown and unexpectedly vibrant form, became one of the most iconic images of the entire New Horizons mission and brought Pluto back into the global spotlight. In addition, some of the probe's images show detailed views of the planet's moons, especially Charon, the largest moon. The images of Charon also revealed something incredible. The moon also clearly shows signs of geological activity. Images of deep trenches and crevices on the surface indicate that this moon is also more complex than scientists had thought possible. New Horizons images not only revealed Pluto's surprising geology, but also introduced the planet's aesthetic beauty to a wide range of researchers and space enthusiasts. Virtually every image taken by the probe revealed new surprises and truths that go far beyond what science had previously expected. A probe is exploring Pluto's ocean. What a surprise! Pluto also has water, and possibly even an ocean. Just 20 years ago, researchers thought that water was rare on other planets. We knew the images of the scorching hot planet Venus, where there is no trace of water. We explored the seemingly dust-dry planet Mars and found at most a little water vapor in the vicinity of gas giants like Jupiter. Then, of all places, more and more water turned up in the outer reaches of the solar system. First, the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn showed us that there was water in the solar system, and eventually, the discoveries of water and ice kept growing. The intriguing discovery of the possibility of an underground ocean deep below the icy surface of Pluto is another unexpected and amazing finding. Pluto, as a distant celestial body at the edge of the solar system, was long thought to be frozen and geologically dead. However, data collected by the probe increasingly suggests that a liquid water ocean may exist under Pluto's thick hydrogen ice layer. The theory of the ocean on Pluto is based on several clues. One of the strongest indications is the absence of large craters on Pluto, especially in the Sputnik Planitia region. This suggests that the surface is relatively young and is constantly renewed by convection currents in the ice. Heat would be required for this movement of the surface, which could come from an underlying ocean. The existence of cryovolcanoes also supports the theory. Pluto must be warmer inside than previously thought. This warmth could come from the decay of radioactive elements in the dwarf planet's interior. A strong gravitational interaction with Pluto's moon Charon is also possible. Pluto and its moon orbit each other so closely that scientists suspect that the two are actually a double planet system. At the moment, it's considered rather unlikely that higher life exists on Pluto, but microscopic life forms or simple plants such as algae could possibly exist. This possibility is currently spurring NASA and the international community of planetary researchers on to develop new probe systems to study Pluto's ice ocean more closely in the future. Pluto is by no means the only place in the solar system where an underground ocean is suspected. Some of the best known other candidates are the moons of large planets. One particular example is Europa, one of Jupiter's largest moons. Europa is completely covered by an ice crust under which scientists suspect a liquid ocean with a high degree of probability. This ocean could be kept warm enough by Jupiter's tidal forces, which heat the moon's interior to support liquid water. 
NASA's Europa Clipper mission, which aims to learn more about Europa's potentially life-friendly ocean, is scheduled to launch in the 2020s. Saturn's moon Enceladus is also considered a promising candidate for an underground ocean. Enceladus even expels water fountains into space, breaking through cracks in the moon's ice crust. These fountains provide direct evidence of an underground ocean of liquid water heated by similar geothermal processes. During its mission, the Cassini spacecraft took detailed images of these water fountains and even discovered indications of organic compounds, which also fuels the idea of organic life below the surface of the moon on Enceladus. Will Pluto be a planet again? The question of whether Pluto will become a planet again is actually misleading, because Pluto was never anything other than a planet. Its demotion to a dwarf planet in 2006 was based on several reasons that have been criticized since New Horizons' successes. Pluto was the ninth planet of the solar system since the 1940s and was then moved by the International Astronomical Union to the category of trans-Neptunian objects and dwarf planets due to its size and the fact that it did not clear the orbit around the Sun. The discoveries made by the New Horizons mission have shown that Pluto is geologically active, has a complex atmosphere, and may even harbor an underground ocean. Such characteristics are more typical of planets than of simple dwarf planets. For many scientists, Pluto is therefore much more than just a trans-Neptunian object. It shows a diversity that distinguishes it as a fully-fledged planet. Pluto's return to the ranks of the real and official planets could therefore be imminent. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell now so you will always be informed when the latest videos are available.